All right, today in the lab, we're gonna talk about how to make your cell phone the only webcam you need. Hard cut to intro. All right, so how are we turning our cell phones into webcams? What's well, easy, you just need to download XSplit vCam on your computer and then the XSplit Connect webcam app on iOS or Android. So turn on the app on your phone and then go to your computer, turn on XSplit vCam. Now make sure your phone's connected to your computer either through USB or make sure that your computer and your phone are on the same network, like the same Wi-Fi network. And then when the app is running, look at XSplit vCam, click on the drop down menu here where your camera list is. You'll see your phone or you'll need to connect to your phone and there you go, it's already ready to go. All right, so before we tweak any settings in the XSplit Connect webcam, there's one really important thing when it comes to getting the best quality image out of basically any camera, it doesn't matter how good or bad the camera is, and that is make sure you have proper lighting. It doesn't matter if you turn on a room light, a desk lamp, any type of light, turn it on, it'll make your camera look better. And if you're really in a pinch, you can actually use Connect webcam to turn on the flashlight on your phone. If you need it in case of emergencies, use it, but any type of light, it's a big factor in making your image quality look better. All right, so here you can actually switch between the different cameras that are available on your phone, like the front facing or the rear facing cameras. Now, generally the main rear facing camera is the best camera on your phone. However, sometimes you might wanna use a front facing camera. That way you can actually see a preview on your phone. This is really good if you're doing any video conferencing or if you're doing like talking head YouTube videos because you wanna see that you're looking into the camera. Now the other settings here, we have white balance and brightness. Now these actually can be automatically configured. Just hit the refresh button to change it if you have any like lighting changes or anything like that. Now I wouldn't play with brightness too much because if you turn it up too much, then your picture can look grainy or kind of noisy. And then if you turn it down too low, it can be really, you know, underexposed. Unless that's the look that you want. Now with white balance, this is fun to play with sometimes because you know, you can cool or warm up your image. So this kind of can give it a look, or maybe you have like a sunset in the background and you want it super orange. Who knows, but it's pretty fun to play with. All right, so now let's get into the fun part, which is the advanced settings of Expo Connect webcam. So the first one is you can actually mirror your camera if you want. The other one is you can change the brightness level of your display while you're streaming from your phone to vCam. So this could be useful if you don't have your phone plugged in, if you want to save some battery and, you know, get a bit more life out of it. The next one is probably the most exciting one, which is you can change the bit rate that you're using for your phone stream. So the higher the bit rate, the better the image quality. And I would say that, you know, this is good to use and adjust manually, but if you're in a place where you know, maybe your router's far away or you have a lot of network congestion, you know, someone's doing some uploads or downloads that they shouldn't be. Set this to automatic so that your phone won't cut in and out or start to lose frame rate. Now the other stuff you can change like the network connection and server port protocol. These things, I would just leave it to automatic. Don't play with it or you might not get your video feed anymore. So the last thing you wanna pick up is maybe a mount to connect your phone to a tripod. There's a bunch of these mounts available. They're very cheap, you can even get one to mount your phone to the top of your monitor or stick to the wall, wherever, magnets, how do they work? But I wanna know from you, like have you ever used your cell phone for streaming before? And what's your favorite kind of cell phone brand? What, what cell phone manufacturer do you think has the best cameras? And have you bought lights for your streaming setup? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was helpful and share it as well. And be sure to subscribe for the next time we're in the lab.